Hello, Art Dimensions audience. My name is Ben Gordon. You're joining me today uh, in my shop here in Hawthorne, California, where I have some uh, pieces of art that I've created over the last decade or so. Um, and I'm going to take this opportunity to share a little bit about it with you. Uh, we're standing in front of a piece uh, that I call Taj Mahal. Uh, not for any particularly good reason, just because a little bit of what's in there perhaps reminded me um, of the Taj Mahal, which I had actually never seen in person. Perhaps it's this shape, but often that's how I'll name these pieces. I just see a little something in the images. Um, the images themselves have not been created so much by me as they were uh, by the marketing company who was cutting out signs. And this machine that they used to cut up, cut the signs, sits uh, on top of a piece of board that they need to cut into. This board receives all the impressions of all the various signs and marketing material that they've cut out, and you can see that in some of the pieces. Here you see the, you know, the type winning game ball and championship game ball. And if you look down even here, you can actually make the name of someone out. It says Vernon Davis. Um, you can also see copyright things here too, interestingly enough. So. Uh, you can see that this was, this was some marketing material that was, that was created for the 49ers, if you can put that together uh, some years back, um, along with other things that they were cutting at the time. This looks like a Levi's sign, so perhaps they were cutting something out for a Levi's store or something like that. Other pieces like this, like Taj Mahal, you can't really tell so much what they were cutting out um, because it's not necessarily type, though there's a little bit of type. So once they did that, they would discard these items in the trash and so uh, one day I came along and I said, hey, these have great aesthetic and artistic um, value to them. There's something also inherently cool to them that I gravitate to. Um, so I took them and I, and I painted them white and quite like what I saw there. And then I decided, hey, let's layer some colors in. And immediately it became apparent that having these recessed channels would allow me to create crisp lines even if I'd you know, not applied my color in crisp crisp fashion, or dictated the lines for that matter. Um, so I've been playing with that, I really like them. I've gone on a little bit too long. Thanks for joining me here. I have lots more to share about these things uh, if you'd like to hear about it. And have a wonderful day.